Hey guys. So, we went to Mary Lambert last night. Oh my god, fucking amazing by the way. My hair looks like crap because I just decided I don't really care. Um, anyways. When our album comes out, you guys have to buy it. It's amazing. Um, I think her songs are so emotional and that's what um, sorry, I was eating pistachios before this. Um, and that's what I love about it. it. It's like, you don't feel alone anymore. Anyways, so, you have to buy it. Totally recommend. I recommend all of her music. It's not, um, especially if you're feeling down on yourself and you need a pick-me-up. Well, not really a pick-me-up because it's kind of like a downer, but, um, it'll make you feel like you're not alone the world anyways so we gotta take pictures with her and say hi and um you know we've gone to I know it sounds weird but we've gone to pretty much all of our shows since um right before our wedding or right after our wedding sorry um to you know I want to I want to support a, our local artists as much as I can and she's one of them and I mean, I probably would have gone before if I would have known about her, but what really got us to know her was, know about her was we, uh, at our wedding, we had them cut out her voice, um, the part where she's, I can't change even if I wanted to. I can't even sing that. Hey, sorry. Um, I'm not really in right singing mood right now. Anyway, so, um. She, uh, we cut that part out and that's what we walked out of the, uh, out of the ceremony to. Anyway, so then later on that week I was like, hey, oh my god, you know, I looked up her name and I looked at her shows and I was like, actually she's got, um, a show, no joke, like, four days after our wedding we went to our first show of Mary Lambert. Amazing, she's so sweet. Anyway, so we went into that yesterday and totally recommend. I didn't really, um, I didn't really eat horrible yesterday. Just kind of, you know, you're on the road and you kind of just grab what you can. Um, we did get snacks, so we got, like, pistachios and, like, water and, um, whatnot to tide the time. Especially if we had to drive around because, um... We didn't know what time we'd get, if we'd make the last ferry boat to the island or not, or if we'd have to drive all the way up and around for three hours to get home. Um, but luckily enough, we got to, you know, say hi, wish her happy birthday. Um, I don't know if she actually remembers us or if it's just, you know, hey, how are you? You know, like normal people, anybody would just, you know, ask how you're doing. Um, but we got to, you know, say hi and get pictures and it was fun. Uh, yeah, so, but today, um, I'm gonna go watch my nephew, so maybe I can get some footage of him. He's so freaking hilarious. If he wants to watch a movie, he'll walk up to the DVD player, push the, ex uh, escape, you know, the eject button, and hold the DVD out in front of your face. He's so funny. He's like, I want to watch Rio. Rio is his favorite movie. Absolute favorite. Sorry, I'm trying to pay attention for cops and stuff. But they're doing construction at the moment. Sorry. Okay, you kind of slow down. Anyways, so... Um... I'm excited, but... Anyways, we, uh... Um... Probably, I don't know, maybe if we have time before my wife has to go to work, we'll take him up and go fly a kite. He has, he got a new kite for his birthday from his aunties. Or no, sorry, no, not for his birthday. He got it for Easter. My bad, Easter. Um, but yeah, so, and, <clears throat> I don't know if you're just tuning in, but this, this is, uh, this is my weight loss journey so I can become a mom, um. I'm down to 284 again. I kind of went up um, after my aunt passed away, or like my family member passed away. Um, and it's been about a month since. And it was kind of hard for my cousins to um, 
you know, it's it's hard when you lose family. It's not it's not a fun thing. Anyway, so yeah, Mother's Day was kind of difficult, but you know we we barbecued for my mom, went for a walk on the beach, you know, fed my nephew cake, and um, my sister dropped cake on him on accident because he stood straight up into the cake and it just kind of toppled on top of him. So yeah, um, I know this is like three days late, but happy Mother's Day to all the moms. Um, without you, none of us children would be here and the generations would just cease to exist. Um, and yeah, we love you. Uh, so yeah, I will post a little bit later. I'm going to try and upload this one at my, uh, sister's house. And then I will, p I am, I'm going to try to post at least three times a week because, um, I feel like I kind of slipped out of keeping accountability for myself um, the past month. So I really need to keep up with the on track losing weight. I still have a goal of after I lose 50 pounds, all this hair that you see on top of my head is going to hopefully not be so long anymore. That's my promise to myself is that I am going to cut all my hair off. Um, I have started wearing more, uh, shorts and whatnot, and I told my wife. So, I, I don't care if anybody thinks this is gross or if they just don't agree with it, but I don't particularly shave, shave, I don't shave my legs and I don't shave my armpits, but I am one of the people that will wear deodorant and take showers because, to be honest with you, I don't feel like being repulsive to anybody else, but that's just my... I just, it's not, it's not something that I like doing. I don't like cutting myself shaving. It's just, you know, I shouldn't have to change for anybody else. But I told my wife that after I lose 50 pounds, I am also going to shave my legs for her and we'll go out to dinner. So, um, I am trying to keep that promise to myself. I'm really trying to start working harder and, um, I'll probably take you on a, a walk because I don't, I'm not a runner just yet, but... I think after maybe walking, you know, slowly, I'll be able to start running. Um, yeah. All right. Love you guys. Bye.